Oh, man. What a freaking game. What a season for the New York Knicks. <sighs> Knicks lose in game six to the Heat. And the season is all but over officially. The Miami Heat win this one 96 to 92. The Knicks had a chance in that last second. Jalen Brunson turns the ball over after having a heroic, magical game. It felt like Jalen Brunson was the only one that cared tonight. The only one that had it tonight. Damn, 41 points. Nobody else showed up. And that was the difference of this game. R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle was not on the same level as they were in game number five. And that was the difference for these New York Knicks. And you got to give credit to the Miami Heat, of course. They are so well coached. They always fight back. They play with intensity. And they fight in clutch in late in the fourth quarter. And they came out with better effort tonight, honestly. Um, but not against Jalen Brunson. It felt like it was Brunson versus the, the Miami Heat. And we're going get to get into that in this video. But obviously, you know, as a Knicks fan speaking right now, uh, Knicks fans can, can relate to this feeling. You know, the season's over. Season's over. It stings. It hurts. And I know that, you know, um, it hurts right now. But I do want to mention real quick, guys, Knicks fans, this was a special season. We exceeded expectations. Nobody had the Knicks going to the second round, going to game six. Nobody had us going this far. Jalen Brunson, they clowned us for signing that man in the summer. They said he was overpaid. Jalen Brunson is a superstar, and I'll stand on that. He is an absolute rock star. Jalen Brunson, 41 points, 14 of 22 from the field, 5 of 10 from the three-point line, put everything on the line for these New York Knicks in the last this whole series to get the Knicks over the hump. But he had no help. You can't expect it to work when there's no one else around him really battling. Nobody else had it. Julius Randle, 3 of 14 from the field. R.J. Barrett, 1 of 10 from the field. Quentin Grimes, 1 of 6 from the field. The fact that they were even close in this game is mind-boggling because nobody else but Jalen Brunson had it tonight, and it's really, really infuriating that we had to go down like that. But it does remind us as Knicks fans that we freaking got our guy. And I know it's hard to really think about the future and talk about the offseason and talk about better times ahead when we're in the moment and we just lost the playoff series and it stings because the season's over. But Knicks fans, I'm telling you, Jalen Brunson is him and we are going to build around him and there is a lot bright, there's a lot of bright basketball in New York City with these New York Knicks in the future, man. We have a lot of capital on our favor to be able to be aggressive this offseason to either go after who knows who yet. We're not going to talk about that just yet on the channel. We got a whole offseason to break that down. But Jalen Brunson is proving that we have somebody that has championship pedigree. Somebody that can step up when we needed them to, to the most. Somebody that can carry the damn team. So you get someone next to him to really compliment him. That's what the next level is going to be. So... As you can see, this whole video has been me ranting that Jalen Brunson is so freaking good and nobody else around him did anything. Now, the New York Knicks, they played quality defense tonight. I love their defensive effort. All game long, they played great defense. Obviously, there's a couple possessions you like to have back with getting you know, better defensive rebounds. But overall, man, I like the way this Knicks team played defensively as a squad, as a unit. You know, they rebounded all right. You know, the rebounds was pretty much even. The Knicks out-rebounded the Heat 41-40. to They out-rebounded them by one. One rebound went into the Knicks' favor. But at the end of the day, man, the Knicks were unable to really find their rhythm late in that five-minute stretch. They went too ISO heavy. They could not get the last bucket. We had a chance with that flagrant foul on Gabe Vincent literally punching Jalen Brunson in the face. Brunson hits both free throws, and then we get the ball back. Josh Hart gets the bucket, cuts it to a two-point game. Jalen Brun we get a stop. Jalen Brunson gets a chance to tie it up or take the lead. And unfortunately, he gets like double teamed at the baseline and he tries to be aggressive and dish it down low turnover. Really, really deflating, deflating, deflating experience in that moment, man. Knicks fans, what a freaking ride this season was. I'm so thankful to be a part of this season with you guys. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for sticking with Knicks media with all the post-game videos throughout the season, all the other live streams in between games. It's been a lot of fun covering this team, and I'm, I have a lot of confidence in the future of the squad, man. And I do have to say one last time, got to tip your caps to the Miami Heat. They absolutely went out there. Eric Spolstra is an all-time great coach. Jimmy Butler is also a superstar, and they got players playing on a string. I mean, they got players out there. Bam Adebayo is a damn monster. Really hard to contain that man. And they just went out there and came out with intensity. They came out with more effort. 
and they just played more team basketball than the Knicks. The Knicks were kind of one one dimensional with Jalen Brunson. With you know R.J. Barrett had a great playoffs. I know tonight he did not step up, but overall R.J. Barrett had a very good playoff series as a whole. Julius Randle not so much did not have that great of a playoff series. But when it comes to the Miami Heat, everybody contributed on their squad. And it was frustrating. So tip your caps to the Miami Heat. Obviously, they're our rivals. Obviously, we hate them right now, Knicks fans. But I just got to give credit where credit's due. They outplayed these Knicks, even though Jalen Brunson was the best player in the series. But players don't win series. Teams win series. So that doesn't really matter. But Jalen Brunson was the best player on the court. I'm sorry, he was. And the fact was, Jimmy Butler, he only didn't do that well tonight. Only 7 of 22 from the field, 24 points, but he did not have to do everything because he had guys like Bam Adebayo. He had guys like Struess and Gabe Vincent to step up. I mean, it's really frustrating that the Knicks went out there and Brunson puts up a 41-point masterpiece and they can't even extend the game back to Game 7 at the Garden because if we won tonight, I had a lot of confidence of us winning at MSG. I just did, and I felt like it was in our in our favor this game and late in that fourth quarter. We saw some some momentum, but that they, they just couldn't hold on, man. They couldn't hold on, and the season's all but over. Quentin Grimes airballs that three. Are you kidding me? I mean, what a great play call by by Thibodeau to free up Grimes there. I love you, Grimes. We you got that playoff moment last game, but how are you gonna airball that, bro? You're wide open. I mean, you he rushed the shot, it felt like. I mean, he had so much space. He could have took a dribble or something because he went up there and airballed it. D- deflating. Absolutely deflating. Obviously, you prefer Brunson take that shot. But hey, man, it's a frustrating time. But at the same time, I do got to remind you guys yet again, we have our franchise point guard and his name is Jalen Brunson. Everybody clowned us in the offseason that we overpaid him he is now officially underpaid and now we have a cornerstone of the franchise that we have a lot of confidence that's going to help us get to the hump he's going to help us get to the playoffs next year and he's proven that he is a playoff caliber player right Julius Randle not so much I called out Julius Randle heading into this game that he had to step up he did not he did not step up when we needed him the most I don't know if he's playing injured or not I don't care if he's playing injured or not it's no excuse Jimmy Butler's playing through an ankle injury so is Brunson I don't want to hear that this was Julius Randle's time to show that he's another franchise player and he just didn't step up. As good as Julius Randle is, how spectacular he is in the regular season, it doesn't matter if you don't step up in these moments like Jalen Brunson does. So that's really the story. That's my story of this game, man. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section, guys. Obviously, I'm pissed off, as Knicks fans should be too. And of course, there's probably a lot of Miami Heat fans watching this video as well. Congratulations on advancing to the Eastern Conference Finals. Thanks for tuning in to all my videos. I appreciate you guys. And of course, the trolls and the hate, let me hear it. Don't really care. But yeah, let me hear it, Heat fans. You're going to really affect me big time. But to my Knicks fans, I love you all. Let's go, Knicks. Until next year, keep your heads high, man. I know this things, but keep reminding yourselves, nobody had the Knicks going this far in the playoffs. Not even us, right? So hopefully they can rebound, make a splash in the offseason. We'll be back even stronger next year. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Knicks Media. There's a lot of offseason content coming. Promise you that. Let's go Knicks forever. I love you all.